So welcome back to another vlog and this one is another travel vlog actually, I've done like a couple recently um, but today we are in Formentera um, which is a little tiny island just off the coast of Ibiza, um, they kind of call it like Ibiza's little sister. Um, I've been coming to this island since, since I was like a baby. Um, my auntie lives over here so um, yeah I've been coming like most years for a really long time now but um, not that many people know about it like a lot of people visit Ibiza and they don't come to Formentera so I thought it would be quite cool for me to vlog it we're only here for one night we've been staying in Ibiza for uh, three nights and we thought we'd come over here a little bit spontaneously for one night um, just because we both love it over here so much and this would be our last chance to do it for the year so we have just arrived at the port it's super easy to get a boat from Ibiza so you can either get one from um, the main port in Ibiza there's like three ferry companies that do it and they're really quick they only take half an hour to get over here um, I can't remember the price but it's not like super expensive or you can get a ferry from Santulalia which is where we just got a ferry from but that one takes a little bit longer that one takes an hour um, I'm pretty sure you can get a ferry from Pied and Bossa um, and Escanar maybe and a couple of other places if you just google it it will tell you where you can get them from. So yeah, so we just rocked up now, just about to find a taxi and head over to our hotel. Hotel we're staying at is called Hotel Cala Sajona. I've stayed there once before. Um, normally we stay at my auntie's when I've stayed in Formentera before, but um, this time we've got a hotel. Um, it's really, really nice. It's um, the beach where the sun sets and everything like that. I can give you a little tour and stuff later. But yeah, so we're on the hunt for a taxi and I'll show you guys around. Felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Had to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, you're over the hillside So we've just got to the hotel um, and we're just sat down having a drink and we've just ordered some food as well um, because we are renting a little moped so we're just waiting for the guy to bring it and so it'll be like 40 minutes so we thought we'd get some food um, so yeah we always rent a moped when we come here just it's so much easier to get around you can rent a car but parking's quite difficult so um, we always rent a little moped um, so yeah I'm excited to get on the beach and everything like that um, so yeah I think I mentioned earlier we're staying at Hotel Cala Sajona um, but there are some other really nice hotels here like um, Blanco um, there's a new one just open called Five Flowers which is really nice um, there's another Hotel Cala Sajona own another one as well and I can't remember what it's called um, but it's such a small island so there's not like loads and loads of hotels on the island um, but I wonder how, how actually big is it do we know how actually big that was something in English yeah so it's got a population of 10,000 people and it's 83.24 kilometers squared. So yeah, it's really, really small, but it has like the most beautiful beaches and water and everything like that. It's honestly like kind of like the Caribbean in the Mediterranean. So yeah, I'll obviously show you guys that when we go to the beach later. Um, our hotel is on the beach, but this beach here is, um, it's really, really nice, but it's not the best one. So we're gonna jump on the moped and go to the best one and then we'll probably watch the sunset down at this beach here. Um, so yeah. He is literally the biggest sun worshipper ever. Like we're sat down waiting for our food but it's in the shade so he's just gonna sat over there to get some sun. I'm also just editing up a vlog that I need to put up. So yeah. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> so we are all ready to go. We have our moped, we've got our helmet. Safety first, kids. Safety first. And um, we're going to head off to the beach. We're going to go to Ilietas, which is um, probably the nicest beach on the island. It's also the most popular, obviously. Um, you get like quite a lot of celebrities and stuff there like with their boats because it is like the nicest stretch of sand and the nicest water um but it does get really busy so we're going to try there and if not there's a little sort of like secret one a little bit further up which is the same kind of stretch as Ilietas, but it's quite hard to get to so like a lot of people don't really know about it so we'll see um but yeah let's go home now um just chilled out the beach and actually both fell asleep for um, a little while so now we've got back to the hotel so we're going to check in um and then i think we're going to get ready and go up to the hippie market um which is on on a wednesday here and it's wednesday today um and then we will probably come back here to watch the sunset and then go out to espajols for some dinner um like i said earlier the island's so tiny so like to get from one side to the other, it probably takes about 25 minutes on a moped, not even that, 20 minutes. Um, so it's quite easy to like chop and change where you're going in the evening and stuff. So yeah, let's go. So we've just got into the room, so I just thought I'd show you quickly. It's nothing crazy exciting. It's actually like the worst room. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, it's like the worst room that they have here, um, just because it was the cheapest and we were only gonna be here for the night. So um, we just decided there was no point um, in paying loads of money for a nice room. Uh, you can get really nice ones with like views of the sea we've just got like a view of like a little bit of beach um but yeah you can get ones with views of the sea which is obviously really really nice at sunset so i do definitely recommend doing that if you're here for longer or whatever so yeah okay so we have just come back to the room and got changed and everything like that and like i said earlier we're gonna head off to the hippie market so i just thought to show you what i'm wearing quickly so i have um this zara dress on i actually bought this in two colors because i liked it so much it's just got like a cowl neck just a little slip dress with these polka dots on it and then i have my uh june sliders on they're like raffia style ones um and that's about it really i've got my hair in a little low bun these earrings are from zara this is monica vinada um, my watch is larson and jennings this ring is monica vinada and then bracelet, um, the kind of thicker one is Monica Vinader. And then this one is one that I got um, in Ibiza. So let's go. I'm going to take my Chloe bag with me as well. I don't even know why I bother trying looking nice though, because by the time you come off the moped, you just look absolutely terrible. But anyway, let's go. This helmet's kind of ruining my vibe, but it's 
fine. <laughs> Hopefully my hair's not a massive mess by the time I take it off. So anyway, let's go to the Hopi market. I haven't been here in years actually. Um, So we have just got here, um, that journey was a little bit windy, um, kind of realised that this dress was a really bad idea on a moped because cause it's like a kind of baggier neck, all the wind was just going down here, I just felt like I was naked, uh, but yeah anyway, please excuse the state of my hair as well. But I've never actually been to Hibby Market um, during the day because this goes on to like 10pm at night. So um, but we've come early because we've only got a day here and we wanted to catch the sunset back at our hotel and stuff like that. But we're actually on the lookout for a present here so that's why we've come. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice here. I'll show you around. Usually there's like live music and all stuff like that. So yeah, let's go this way, shall we? Yeah. So we have just finished up at the hippie market. We've got a couple of bits in here and then Sam's holding a few little bits too. We came for a present which we did get which is good um, and I got um, the white linen shirt dress that I showed you guys. I loved the one with the shells on but I just thought I would literally only ever wear it here. That's the problem with places like this. Like I love shopping here but you get a bit sucked in like trying to look like people that live here and then you go back to like cold to rainy England and realise that you just can't wear that stuff. But I got that white linen shirt because I felt like I could wear that on like all of my holidays like in the future and like stuff like that. I even thought I could maybe wear it at home when the weather's alright. So yeah and then where else did we get? Oh I got a little bowl um, and then yeah. So now we're going to head back on our little moped. We tried to get an ice cream as well but um, there was like no one serving which was a shame because I'm really craving an ice cream. But yeah we're going to hop back on our moped. Okay so my camera cut me out for like half of that and I don't know what it got and what it didn't but I'm just waiting for Sam outside the shop because he's gone to get some ice creams. Um, but 
If you guys haven't heard, I was saying that we are finished at the supermarket now. Um, we bought some bits. Um, I can show you when we get home. Um, and now we're going to go back to our hotel and watch the sunset, and then we're going to go for some dinner. Oh, you got them. What have we got? White chocolate magnum. Mm. god we've just got back to the room and we've literally been here like about 30 minutes and it's just absolute carnage already for god's sake Ooh. so i'm just gonna get changed and then we're gonna go down to the beach because i don't really want to go down wearing this dress i've also got the biggest spot under my nose and it's really really hurting me and i feel like you guys are gonna be able to see it on this vlog so apologies for that could you eat this crisps any louder <laughs> Right, you just dropped crisp into your suitcase. <laughs> oh god. So I've just got changed into this little dress, which is from Zara. It's just like a bardo dress. Um, it's a little bit see-through, so it's kind of like more like a bikini cover-up. Um, and then I have my um, Christian Dior book bag, which is loaned to me from the Catwalk Club. I can talk to you guys about... I can talk to you guys about that a little bit later. Um, it's a really, really cool company. Um, so yeah, I've been using this all holiday. And then same shoes as before. And then you stood there smiling at me As so many times before I never wanna be away leave you to um, the beach to enjoy the sunset. You guys can see it that well. Um, and we're just playing some cards. It's so nice down here. There's belly on here as well, so it's quite nice and peaceful. Oh, I've got the uh, camera shadow. Um, but yeah, a bit tired to be honest. Normally, like, we'd come down and get like a pizza or something like that. That's one of my favorite things to do on holiday is get a takeaway pizza and have a little picnic in the sunset. Oh. Anyway, Sam's waiting for me to play another game, so I'll talk to you guys later. Come on. Okay, so we are on to outfit. I think it's outfit number four of the day um, and another polka dot number. Hang on, I'm gonna take my bag off so you can see it better, two seconds. Um, so I have this dress on from Zara. My mum actually got this. Well, I persuaded my mum to buy it because I thought it looked really, really good on her. Um, and then I liked it so much on her that I thought I'd get it for myself. So it's like a midi um, length. Actually, it's almost like maxi, so it's like mid axi length. It's super duper creased, but I just don't have the time to iron it, and I'm just chucking it on. Um, main reason I'm wearing it is because um, on the moped at night it gets really, really cold, and this was kind of like my most covered up item. So yeah, I thought I'd chuck that on, but you can wear this in the UK really nicely with like a blazer, black blazer, white blazer, some trainers. I've got it on with my um, white Gucci mules, but it would work really well with like trainers or boot heels or something like that as well. 
And then I have my Chloe bag with me. I'm actually really, really glad that I decided to keep this in the end. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I just couldn't decide for ages. Uh, but it's like gone with so many of my outfits on holiday and stuff. So yeah, love that. And then all the same jewellery as before, nothing new. Um, I don't really know what to do with my hair because it's such a mess and it needs washing really. But I don't really want to wash it and then just put like a helmet on and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, we're going to head out now to go get some dinner. And yeah, I'll show you guys around Espajols. <laughs> Espajol. Sam is just trying to find a parking space. That is why we always rent a moped rather than a car, just because parking is such a nightmare um, in like the big towns and stuff. I say big towns, they're tiny towns, but you know what I mean. Um, I would say if you don't want to rent a car or a moped or anything, then the best place to stay is probably Espajols because you have the town, like a little city. Um, I don't know why I'm saying cities, but it's literally like so small. Um, and the beach as well, so you can walk to a beach and you can walk to the shops and the restaurants and stuff. And then if you want to like go to different beaches, you get a taxi. So yeah, if you don't want to rent a car or a moped, then I would stay near Espajols or like walking distance to get into the town and go to the beach. You could also always rent some bicycles as well. Anyway, he's found a space. We have him here. So let's go. So we're just walking along the like beachfront now and there's a stall here that um, has been here literally since I was like a tiny little kid. Um, it's been here for so long, let me show you it. When I was younger I was absolutely obsessed with it and the man is just like so so old that runs it but it's really sweet, I'm going to show you now. I've just noticed my battery is flashing. I think I'm gonna have to um, film on my phone now. So we're just at the front now, and there's just like so many cute little stalls and stuff like that. And then on this side, you've got loads of restaurants. day here um we are actually checking out really late because um our flight isn't till quarter to midnight tonight um and this hotel have a really good policy where you can pay uh 60 euros and you can check out at 6 p.m so you basically get like almost a whole other day in the hotel which is great so this morning we thought we would go and explore a little bit even though we have seen uh most of the stuff here i wanted to show you guys so we're gonna head down to um it's called cap de bar Barbia, Barbaria, Barba, not sure. Cap de Barbaria, I think. Yeah. Um, and there's a lighthouse there, and there's also like a really nice. It's hard to explain. You kind of like have to walk down into kind of like a. Oh my god! How would you explain that thing, Sam? Cave. Hey. Yeah. There you go. It's like a cave, and um, and you get a really cool view and stuff. So we're gonna go do that because I thought it might be quite cool for you guys to see if you're thinking about planning a trip over here. So, and then I think we'll get some lunch somewhere and don't really know what we'll do after that. Probably just chill out by the pool or on the beach. I was gonna say, like, if 
uh you guys are planning on coming here just for the day so you just get the ferry across in the morning and um get the ferry back in the evening i would say what i would do is get the ferry across early morning um and head down to the beach straight away like go to Ilietas or somewhere like that um and then get some lunch there if like you fancy splashing out juani andrea is a really nice uh restaurant on the beach there but it is expensive there's another cheaper one a bit further down i've forgotten what it's called now uh, oh, I've forgotten its name, but I can pop it down below. Um, and then I would suggest maybe uh, going up to the hippie market if it's on, or if not, if you want to have like a look around the shops, then maybe going into. That's really annoying. Um, yeah, so maybe going to the hippie market if it's on later on. I think it opens at five. Um, or if not, then you could go into San Francisco, which is their like main town centre if you want to have a look at the shops. Um, and then I'd come down to Calisahona for the sunset and then maybe head into Espajols for some dinner and then jump back on the boat to go back. I think the last boat to go back to Ibiza is pretty late. I think it's like 11pm or something like that. Um, so yeah, you could definitely do this in a day or you could stay one night like we've done. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready and head off now. I was gonna wash my hair, but I just thought there's no point with um, putting helmets on and stuff. So sorry that it looks an absolute state. It's pretty frizzy, it just needs a wash. Um, but yeah, I'll show you my outfit quickly as well. It's nothing too exciting. Do you wanna come out? Yeah. <laughs> you have to wait there. <laughs> okay, so it's looking really creased, but I've just got this dress on, which is from H&M. Oh my God, it looks so greased no point ironing it though um and that's it really and then i've got a bikini underneath here which is from asos because i think like i said we're gonna do the beach later and then i'll probably just put some flip-flops on just nice and cash today so yeah i'll catch up with you guys when we go out also i'm really not feeling very well today i've got um really bad period pains which is probably tmi but that's why i might be a little bit off on camera but i'm powering through so so this is the finished look. I've got my Ray-Bans on, my little Gucci super mini Marmont, and then just some Havianas. So we just stopped off to um, fill up some petrol, um, and then we're gonna head off to the night time. It's probably really noisy here, so I'm not gonna talk for too much longer. Um, we have just got here now. It's like really changed since I was last here. You used to be able to, um, drive all the way up to the lighthouse it was a really cool drive but um i mean that was like i think three years ago that i was last here and they've now kind of like pedestrianized it which doesn't really matter we just parked back there and we're gonna walk up to it now another thing that i wanted to mention too i just want to make sure i'm trying to like cover everything in case you guys do want to come here um is that it is more expensive than uh, ibiza so obviously with it being a tiny island and stuff um cost of living is more expensive and also like um importing stuff so yeah it is a fair bit more expensive so just bear that in mind like to stay and stuff like that and to eat and stuff so yeah right let's get going so we have just made it to the lighthouse it was about a 20 minute walk um and then obviously 20 minutes back but it's all right but i'll spin you around so you can see there's quite a few people here but this is one of the lighthouses so there's two on the island and they still work and everything still spinning. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Front down or front ways or back? What do you get? I don't know. Yeah. No, turn around. <laughs> So we have just come into the cave now. It's uh, quite hard to like maneuver your way down, but the view is amazing once you get out. So we'll show you that in a sec. Uh, I don't know how to go. Oh, I should go there. Uh, it's quite dark. Hopefully you guys can see. Just trying to get out into there. Probably didn't wear very suitable shoes. I probably should have worn some trainers. Can you help me down here? I'm gonna come. Which way shall I go? That's why I'm coming down here. And you're gonna jump. 
Oh, I don't know. Interesting. No, okay, I'll go down. <laughs> no. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Oh, look at that little dog. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car, leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave. It. Made it up here. Got amazing views. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it's probably looked quite hard, but it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, just gonna show up here for a bit because it's quite cool. You can see obviously like so much ocean and yeah. When you first come out, a lot of people come straight out and just go like over there. But if you climb around these rocks here, like we just did, you get like this whole section to yourself normally. So. So 